Hello, I'm Kenichi Miyata. I'm a general surgeon in Central California. I'm also known as just a general surgeon on my Instagram account and my YouTube channel. Um, it has come to my attention that a recent gallbladder post of mine has gone viral, mainly in Southeast Asia. Um, on January 9th, 2020, I posted a video of me cutting open a gallbladder uh, that had bile and gallstones spill out that reminded me of one of my favorite drinks, boba tea. Uh, because of that, I labeled the video as bag of boba because that's what it reminded me of. Um, unfortunately, some people have interpreted that as me coming across a gallbladder full of tapioca balls or boba. I'm here to clarify that that is not the situation and that it is not possible for that to happen. Let me start by going over the anatomy of your gallbladder. Um, this is your gallbladder. Uh, the main function of the gallbladder is to store bile. Bile is a solution made by the liver um, and its function is to help break down and digest fats in your diet. Um, sometimes um, gallstones can form in the gallbladder, uh, which is usually uh, caused by an imbalance of one of the many components that make up bile. Um, and that precipitates out of solution and forms a stone within the gallbladder. Uh, people usually present to the doctor complaining of right upper cause and abdominal pain after eating fatty or spicy foods. Um, and then an ultrasound is ordered to look for gallstones. And then when um, someone has an admirable uh, ultrasound with their classic gallbladder symptoms, uh, the treatment is to have surgery to remove the gallbladder with all the gallstones in it. Um, the risk factors of forming gallstones are known as the four Fs. That's female, fat, fertile, family history. Um, also, people who have had uh, rapid weight loss, such as uh, bariatric or weight loss patients, tend to have a higher chance of forming gallstones. Um, gallstones come in all different shapes, colors, texture, firmness, um, and quantity. Um, and it's usually determined by the main component that makes up that particular gallstone. So if they're soft and yellow, usually they're made up of cholesterol. If they're hard and dark, they're usually made of bile salts or bilirubin, which is a breakdown product of your blood cells. However, going back to our boba concern, in order for boba to get, uh, or tapioca balls to actually get into the gallbladder, several impossible things need to happen first. First, someone would have to swallow the boba balls uh, whole without chewing them. No normal person does that. If you do that, you need to see a psychiatrist. It would be like ordering a Wagyu A5 steak and swallowing it whole without chewing it to enjoy the taste and the texture. So that's not normal. But if you did do that for some reason, um, it would go into your stomach, it would have to go into your small intestine, and then um, it would have to go through your sphincter of Odi, climb up your common bile duct, go past the valves in the cystic duct, and then collect into the gallbladder. That simply does not happen. That's not possible for that to happen. So in conclusion, uh, boba is just like any other tasty dessert. It is very safe for you. Um, it is uh, best to enjoy it in moderation. Um, there is no reason to avoid drinking boba tea for concern of it collecting in your gallbladder. So to all my Southeast Asian friends, you can continue to enjoy your delicious boba tea.